I'd like for you to comment on his sure. behavior, knowing that he's running for the U.S. House of Representatives. Well, and thank you. You're the, this is the first time uh, somebody's picked up on that nuance. Uh, my book calls him a shoot from the hip kind of lawman who sh shoots first, aims later. Let me see if I get this right because I'm thinking of this as I'm saying it. I was a former politician who is now in law enforcement. He was just the opposite. He was a former law enforcement official who was now a politician. So I, I knew when I took my oath of office, I, I couldn't play politics. When he took his oath of office, it was, well, I want to go to the next level. And uh, uh, Darren criticized me publicly uh, in the newspaper for uh, not being, I think for not telling the FBI what to do. Uh, I, I don't have any power over the FBI. They investigate our cases. They don't work for me. In fact, that's one of the first things the SAC told me. Uh, Mr. Iglesias, we investigate your cases, but they don't work for you. So, okay, I understand that. Uh, the other thing about, uh, about Darren was the voter fraud thing. And I testified in March in front of the uh, Senate Rules Committee on voter fraud. Because you remember a couple of years ago, in, in all the newspapers, television stations, voter fraud this, voter fraud that. So I set up an election fraud task force. I was one of only two U.S. attorneys in the entire country that did that. And I intentionally chose Democrats and Republicans. Because I knew that if it was just me, that people would say, he's on a partisan witch hunt. So I had Rebecca V. Hill heat on. On, on my uh, panel, I had uh, uh, Mary Herrera, who was then the county clerk. I had Denko, who was a, a Richardson uh, appointee, and they, they sent folks to my meetings. Because I wanted the public to understand, if there really is voter fraud, let, let's investigate it, let's prosecute it. But at the end of, gosh, I took over 100 complaints. I had only one possible case, and I worked very closely with my partners, I work closely with the Justice Department, with the guy that does nothing but voter fraud. And I, I couldn't find a case I could prove beyond a reasonable doubt. So guess what? I didn't file it. And what Darren said was, well, he wants cases wrapped in a pretty little bow before he prosecutes. No, Darren, I need a case beyond a reasonable doubt. It's not a little pretty bow. It's called the rule of law. We don't just accuse people in this country and then cut them loose after indicting them. Uh, so I've been very uh, disappointed in, in Darren. Uh, he doesn't understand his duties as a sheriff. He put, and, and this is what I'm very critical of people like Gonzalez. They put loyalty to the party at a higher plane than their loyalty to the Constitution. Darren did the same thing. So I hope the voters understand that come uh, November. Yes, sir. My turn.